This is White Plume Mountain on normal. The gatekeeper's portal takes you to the bottom of a collapsed staircase somewhere deep in the ground. At the foot of the stairs, a corpse greets you with an empty stare. Something is clutched in its hand. To the east lies a room filled with treasure. Inside, you can see the Codex page sitting on a pedestal. But access to the treasure chamber is blocked behind three magical seals. Each seal bears the symbol of a weapon. A sword, a hammer, and a trident. A regal creature waits for you in the water here. It meets your gaze with eyes filled with both sadness and wisdom. Greetings, Challenger. I am required to administer your first test. Please. The Sphinx clears her throat and begins her challenge in a solemn tone. <clears throat> My challenge is a riddle. Answer true and you may pass. Answer wrong and your lives are forfeit. Now, hearken to me. I begin. Round she is, yet flat as born. Oh, this is still the original uh, question that the guy was asking. The answer to that was the moon. Uh, you can look them up on the wiki. I have the answers sort of memorized from running this quest. But all the answers are on the wiki as well. The barrier blocking your way hey. Light and your adventure continues. This passage is framed in metal. There's a faint crackle of electricity, and it's uncomfortably warm. It's hard to say how strong the current is. Until you step inside. This is like a, path, over it's a like you're on grease here, it's like a slippery and sliding thing. Blades. And what the you could do is to slow down, just sort of stop yourself here. A and it's not too bad. And if you fall down, you just have to fight some stuff below and pull a few levers. Not too bad. Whoa! Oh. Visible stalker. <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, you get sp spiked. It's not too bad, especially on normal, but. Reaper, we definitely don't want to fall down. Hmm, thought I pulled all the levers. Oh, there's a third. See this invisible stalker with true saying. When you get to this area here, right is an optional, left is for quest completion. The optionals do have named items, so we're going to go ahead and run all these, even though yeah, the odds are somewhat low. This one is a swimming a literal wall of sort of maze. It's not really too bad, but you just want to avoid the blades. And I didn't hit any blades there, but it still did the save on me, so it's a little. It seems a little glitchy. Whoops. I think I didn't hit the blades there. With evasion, you probably won't take. Uh, yeah, there's not much risk of taking a lot of damage. Out of the water. 
and find an ambush. <laughs> I believe is like a necklace that we probably would have a hard time fitting in because of our uh, slaver, slave lord's crafted item, but it's still a nice, nice item. Oh, some bracers too. So that's good. Uh, not so much for this build, but uh, ethereal uh, is real good if you need if you need uh, ghost touch. We get it automatically from our paladin tree, but you know it's a nice item. I might save it. I might actually save that. Uh, just because for builds that don't have access to Ghost Touch, you know, uh, this is a pretty nice item here. So this is sort of a, there's multi-levels here, each level has some enemies. If you jump all the way down to the bottom without clearing the levels, then you just fight everything at the bottom, and I'm sure we can handle that on normal, but I try to do things uh, you know, the same way I'm going to run them on Reaper, just so I don't develop bad habits. The only thing I don't sometimes do as I'm doing now is I'm uh, not using all of my resist. I want to get an idea. On normal, if I'm taking sort of heavy damage, then I know uh, I could be more prepared for that in Reaper. Yep. Mouse got stuck. There. So now we can jump down and we should just have to fight these enemies. To your surprise. A mouth carved into the stone wall announces your presence in a booming voice. Hark! Guests approach! This is a mimic. It's a chest that turns into an enemy. Just random loot, but...
So we just want to get each of these crests. There's three the areas, crest, and in each area we want to grab the crest. You hear a bell chime in the distance. You are one step closer to your objective. All right, so we went west, and if you look on the, it sort of like makes a sort of a peace sign, I guess. And so we're just going to go west, center, and then or north, and then uh, east. It's actually northwest, east, or north, and then northeast. As you enter the room, These guys are pretty tough green, for melees. They're pretty easy for range. From the water with the Not a normal, of course. Likewise, you get to this sort of fork here. One way, the right way is the optional, and left is the path forward. So we'll do the optional. This strange spinning tunnel is pretty encouraged. To I got a named item on normal. Oil. A running it was unexpected. jump at the start might be required to get through. So not much damage there, but I probably want my fire resistance anyways. And reaper. This could also have a named item. I think there's a bow in here. I don't know if it'd be better than the bow we have, but it might probably is actually. And those optionals would be a little bit tougher in higher difficulties, but on heroic, they're not too bad. Sing magical barriers hold the boiling water of the mountain at bay. The enchanted walls pulse and sway with the water current. But the walls don't look very sturdy, so best be careful near the. The crab falls over dead with a mighty crash. There's a low hum, and the barriers shimmer with energy. The tears in them close, and the water begins to drain from the chamber. As the water recedes, you notice a crest marked with a trident toward the back of the chamber. Another crest claimed. Only one left to go. Bright green slime covers the floor here. Something about it gives you a bad feeling. Pain stings the soles of your feet. You look down to see the green slime coating your boots. It begins to creep up, reaching higher, consuming as it goes. This mechanical door has a keyhole mounted in the stone floor in front of it. A set of five patchwork creatures regard you impassively. 
each branded with a glowing number. One begins to speak. If you can pick it out, it will serve you. And the others will allow passage. An unnatural darkness fills the room ahead. No light is able to penetrate. You feel certain that something deadly awaits you in the blackness. As the darkness engulfs you, a voice whispers in your ear. Thank you. You are I am so hungry, you see. So hungry. The vampire chuckles as he oozes back into the darkness. Well struck. I admire your spirit. In fact, I thirst for it. The vampire's form crumbles to ash. And the magical darkness of silence. You spy a crest mark on the symbol of a hammer in the corner of the room. That's the last crest. Time to return to the treasure room and claim your rewards. A voice echoes through the stone passage. Not thinking of leaving, are you? You've been so very entertaining. I just couldn't think of letting you go, especially with those little items of mine. And since you've eliminated all their guardians, why, you'll simply have to stay to take their places. I'll have to ask you to let Nixon Knox escort you to the indoctrination center. I'll be most disappointed if you cause me any trouble. Don't worry. You like it here. One of the wizard's magic mouths confirms your victory as you enter the treasure chamber. Well 